Caddis Maximus here, this time with a little review of Channel Walk's Universal Adjustable Socket. These were around in the 90s, and then stock sat on the shelves for years. They didn't sell a lot of these. This is a 3 8 model, which goes from about 5 16 to around 5 8 They also had a quarter inch drive. I heard rumors about them having a half inch drive version, but I haven't actually been able to dig that up. I have seen the quarter inch drive. And it is what you kind of think it is. It's a three-jaw chuck, just modified for essentially driving bolts. You just have this collar. It's threaded onto a portion of the main body. This is actually two pieces here. This piece is threaded onto this piece, and then this piece is threaded onto this. They do these little stamping, so those aren't dents from damage. Those are actually just locking this onto this so it doesn't slip. And... It really didn't do very well for them. It is American made, which I do appreciate. And it is a patented tool. This is not to be confused with an actual square drive chuck. This is a Jacobs uh, 4J9. This is an actual uh, saw or you know half inch square drive chuck for driving bits. And this is a universal socket can be used as a as an I guess an extractor but you'll have kind of a hit and miss time with that just because if a bolts rounded usually this will end up slipping anyway it's a little funky because if you're trying to remove a fastener you have to get it onto the fastener and then tighten it down and then fiddle with getting the wrench on it and I see why these didn't really take off although I do like the idea of it in certain situations if you have a fastener that is weak or maybe you're working on something that has brass fasteners or rusted fasteners where sockets just uh, even six points may strip. The nice thing about this is you can put it, try that again, you can put the fastener in there. It's really kind of funky to deal with. Really you would want to use it with a breaker bar that way it stays stiff. Put it on the fastener, tighten it down like so. And then the nice thing is, is it really grips tightly right across the flats. Obviously, no play. It does have the one advantage of being able to hold on to a fastener. So once you remove it, it stays in the socket. Or if you're having a hard time getting a bolt threaded into some place and you don't have a magnetic socket, this would be an alternative. And just thought it was a neat idea. People have commented that they have pretty good luck with these this tool not actually stripping out fasteners just because it's holding really tight even though it's only driving on three flats it does have a caveat which is one if you're only grabbing on the very edge of the teeth I have found some posts online where the teeth have splayed and the tips have bent outwards uh, which causes an issue the second issue is bolts like this which are washer heads uh, screws the problem with these is when they forge them there's actually as you can see a very slight taper so when you use this socket on a fastener like this and you tighten it down, what ends up happening is one, it kind of pushes the fastener out, but then once you do get it tight, if you wiggle the fastener around, it will still want to slip out because once again, the head has a slight taper. And I suppose that's part of one of the other caveats. I still think it was a neat idea that, that they tried to come out with a relatively compact uh, adjustable socket or universal socket and I can see it still having uh, some validity in certain maintenance situations mainly for the fact that of weight if you're somebody who climbs cell phone towers or has to hike through to service radio communication towers or any of that kind of stuff where you're stuck carrying your tools it's a lot easier to carry this to be able to work on 5 16 through 5 8 fasteners than it is uh, and a lot lighter weight than it is to carry a socket set. And although in many situations a socket set's going to do you better, it still does have, uh, I feel, uh, a valid place. And just thought it was neat. Uh, I always think these kind of unique tools, these specialty tools, are interesting. And just wanted to share a little video about this with you all. I think the other real Achilles heel to this versus normal sockets is if you're working in any kind of dirty or cruddy situations, as you can see, there's a big gap there. Dirt will get in there, get into the threads, and then this thing will just jam up and will basically become useless. And that's probably one of the, the Achilles heel or one of the worst aspects of it is that gap, is the fact that crud will get down into those threads, 
rendering this thing useless and that's probably one of the reasons why it didn't really take off besides it being kind of bulky and funky but I do like the idea of it and I actually kind of wish channel lock still would have uh, not just made these but still would have been in the market of trying to make specialty and unique tools I think it was a good direction for them considering the reputation they have for their pliers um, that getting into other hand tools and socketry and mechanics tools would have been a good idea for them too bad they didn't really stick with it which is unfortunate anyway I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus up. <laughs>